Tower of Buckingham escorted the Queen and Duke on their brief visit to the county. And very different, all of it must have seemed, from the Caribbean. The Aston Martin works were included in the whirlwind tour. Here are produced the ton-plus cars, dear to the heart of fast motorists throughout the Western world. And that makes them big earners of the dollars and other currencies, without which we would soon go hungry. Company chief David Brown conducted Her Majesty, whose husband is thoroughly at home in some of the firm's products. There's great pride of work and craftsmanship inside these walls, where nobody will ever admit that any other car is made in any country to touch theirs. The only possible objection to these cars is that some of us can't afford one. Exhibit one here is the James Bond car, lethal front, back or inside. Ian Heggie, six-year-old son of the works manager, demonstrated a model of it. It was presented to the Queen for Prince Andrew. Number plates to fool spies. Smirsh will be giving Windsor Castle a wide berth and will pay everybody there to be on their best behavior. a wonderful idea if you're ever chased doing more than 70. This is a 1965 Aston Martin DB5 convertible. A total of 1,061 DB5s left the factory at Newport Pagnell, England between July 1963 and September 1965. Out of this, there were only 123 convertibles ever made, of which 19 were original left-hand drive cars. This particular car is one of the original 19 left-hand drive cars built, but it's even rarer still as it's fitted with the ultra-rare hardtop roof, which was only specced a couple of times due to it being such an expensive option at the time of order. And despite its rarity and value, this car is no garage queen, and it's done 45,000 kilometers from new. It features a four-liter straight-six engine, 
that would have produced 282 brake horsepower and a top speed of 145 miles an hour when it left the factory in 1965. Incredibly fast and powerful for the time. Thank <laughs> you.